Hi, morning. Amy and Shirley again. <laughs> yeah. In this video, Amy would like to talk more about the difference between cow parsnip and wild, wild parsnip. parsnip. Yes. We have, we have cow parsnip here. This is still in flower. The season is about over. Most of it has gone to seed, as you can see here. Yeah. And uh, you can see the flower is white for cow parsnip. It's yellow for wild parsnip. And the leaves, I'm going to cut one of these leaves. So this is the leaf of uh, cow parsnip. Yeah. So I'm going to show you, compare this to the wild parsnip, how it looks like. Okay, Amy, why do you need to uh, point out the difference between wild parsnip and cow parsnip? Because you, they're very similar, the, the leaves are very similar, and, uh, but the flowers are different. So I don't want you to pick the wrong thing. Yes. I, I feel that it is important to know the difference. I think there were questions about, you know, which is cow parsnip. Uh, okay. you, you see on the, and on the internet, they talk about wild parsnip as well. So uh, it's good to know the difference. All right. I found a nice looking um, wild parsnip. You can see the flower is yellow. Can you see the flower? And this I have in my hand is cow parsnip, which is white. I'm going to put it next to it. They both umbrella out. They look the same, similar, but the color is different. Can you see the difference? Yeah. Do you want to come it nearer? You can see that even the flower looks different. Yeah? They have similar seeds. And the leaf is very similar to cow parsnip. This is a cow parsnip leaf. Yeah, it's much darker, a little bit more chunkier compared to wild parsnip leaf. And this is a cow parsnip leaf. They look very very similar but they're not the same the um, wild parsnip is a bit more finer and the cow parsnip a little bit more chunkier can you see the difference the only difference you can tell is from the um, the flowers really so Amy what what do we use wild parsnip for why do we you know when we pick when I, we forage wild parsnip what is it what can we use it for um but the wild parsnip you only use the roots and uh, for medicinal purposes oh. so you can eat the roots I see okay. but they're in the same family of you know all the um cow parsnip as well so mm -hmm. that's why I'm wearing the gloves I don't want yeah. to get any sap on me yes. so be careful yeah so it's not like uh, the uh, cow parsnip where you can eat the, uh, the buds and the blossom the floret yeah no this is just the uh, I'm, I'm not sure because I don't have a lot of information on wild parsnip mm. but I know that in America they consider this or in North America they they consider this as a weed uh, it, it's it's invasive oh. and they like to get rid of it yeah right. but I'm surprised to find that the the wild parsnip appeared after the cow parsnip had finished I see okay so I think they're a little bit different season mm. yeah well I hope that uh, this you'll find this information useful for your foraging journey mm.